All right, what's up, my people, right, man? So this right here is a sentencing um, hearing for a mother who has been found guilty in the death of her three-year-old son and where she thought that the bottle was so important to pick up, put to her mouth, guzzle it, and drive with her unsecured children in the car. And then you see testimony from the father, which is, you know, an emotional impact man hearing his story and about what he went through with this woman and how this woman ruined her life she's a beautiful woman and to see that she allowed her not you know confronting her issues whatever turned her to the bottle usually what turns people to the bottle is some underlying issues that they have to tackle rather than using liquor as a way to blur themselves of the issues you have to challenge these issues head on but uh, here's these impact statements. But I thought she should have probably got more time. But maybe that's enough time. But check it. Thank you. You don't have to turn on. All right, Mr. Jones, try to keep your voice up, okay? Yes. As much as it killed me to be here today, I have to be the voice of my son. In 2015, Ms. Pell held a knife on me while I was holding my son. Later, Fourth of July, same year, Ms. Pell showed up at my house intoxicated, spitting on me while I was holding my son. 2016, Ms. Pell had an accident on Linwood and Davidson, where she called me to the scene, wrecked the vehicle. Who knows who was injured in the vehicle that she hit, because that vehicle left the scene. But thank God her two babies wasn't in the car with her. My son was with me, and I'm sure her daughter was someplace safe. August 9th, I got a call from a stranger telling me that my son, was in an accident. Same time, the hospital called me and told me my son was fighting for his life. I didn't understand what was going on. I'm been honest to myself, I know I'm not rolled right into the scene of the accident. Get to the hospital to see my baby laid out with tire marks on his arms, <coughs> on his face. <coughs> when, I threatened, when I threatened to take my son to Mrs. Pelt several times, she cried and told me that her baby mean the world to her. <coughs> But she really showed that on the night, 2018. <laughs> when she drove intoxicated, three times to make a limit with all three of her kids in the car. I don't know what else to say to this point. I don't understand none of this. Miss Pelt knows what my son meant to me. She knows the damage she caused. I never let it go. Mr. Jones, thank you. Uh, Mr. Houston, anyone else? No, Your Honor. Anything you want to say? No, Your Honor, we just ask for the following. All right. Ms. Carson, anything you want to say before I impose on? Your yeah, Honor, I would ask the court to follow the agreement, and I would also ask the court to consider um, I'm retained, not ordering any attorney fees, of course. And additionally, uh, lowering court fees. My client has very little educational and employment history. Okay. Ms. Felt, anything you want to say before I impose on? Yes. Try to keep your voice up. Court reporter has <coughs> to be able to hear you. I want to apologize to my family. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know I love my baby so much. I'm sorry, everything I've ever put y'all through. Everything. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. And it hurts so bad to even know that he, his dad is going through everything he's going through. But it hurts me so bad for people to act like I. I didn't love my baby. He was my everything. It hurt so bad. 
not to wake up and my baby that I had every day not be around me. It hurt so bad that my daughter had to witness her brother in the middle of the street. And I feel like it's, my daughter is going through so much and it's like one side, like it's only one part, one family hurt. My family is hurt too. And I know I hurt them and I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to the courts. I'm so sorry to everybody. I'm mainly sorry to my daughters. I have to even get them put into this situation and not be with their mama. Because that's all they knew. They, I tried everything in this world to be with my babies, to do everything right. And I feel like I'm getting treated like I did. And I know my that was the, wrong, the most wrong thing ever a parent can do. But I did right before then. I tried. I called out. I asked him to help me. He wasn't there to help me when he asked for custody. It was like he was taunting me. And I lost my parents, so I don't want nobody taking my babies. I needed them. It wasn't just like I wanted my babies. I needed my babies. And I'm not the same no more. I don't think the same no more. I don't even talk the same no more. I don't like that I'm being put, in, being put out there like I'm just... A neglect of parent and I know it was wrong but I I did everything right by my kids tried my hardest if I didn't but I apologize to everybody it hurt Michael family on his dad's side my family and anybody that loved Michael thank you honor you do have to understand that uh, you made some really bad choices in this case uh, there's a history of uh, some of your drinking, some of the problems that you may have had. These kids are unrestrained in the car. There are three kids. It's seven o'clock in the in the evening, and you blew a .20, somewhere between a .20 and a .24, uh, with unrestrained kids in the car. I, I mean, that's terribly negligent uh, on your behalf. So when you tell me that you really care about your kids, I kind of tend sense that there's a little doubt in my mind because of what the risk you're putting them in. Uh, I know you're uh, undergoing some uh, therapy and some medication. There is a sentence agreement that was worked out uh, with you and Mr. Zuski, and I'm willing to go along with that because uh, you guys know more about the case than I do. Uh, the sentence will be three to 15 years in the State Department of Corrections on the OWI causing death, three to 10 years on the child abuse second degree, you have credit for 13 days. Those two sentences will run concurrently. They'll run at the same time. Uh, we'll mark your file medical so you can continue to get whatever medication that you're getting. So right now, if you'll have a seat uh, in the box, we'll get to some appeal papers. And I do have to advise you that you do lose some appellate rights by pleading guilty that you would have gotten if you went to trial. So just so you understand that. Um, so if you'll have a seat, we'll take care of everything. Thanks, Ms. Carson. Thank you, Yana. I love you, girl. I love you, girl. I love you. 